Which one of you is a woman of the year? Now, you're all very special guests, uh, but there is one I would particularly like to introduce you to. Uh, she's appeared on The Archers, uh, but she is not an actress. Uh, she did so to raise the profile of the National Osteoporosis Society. She has worked tirelessly for victims of rape and sexual abuse. She's a champion of literacy and supports organizations around the world battling against poverty and homelessness. She is the president of the Women of the World Festival right here at London's South Bank. Please be upstanding for Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall. Ladies, and more ladies, <laughs> it's such a great pleasure to be with you for today's Women of the Year lunch. I think I last attended this lunch in 2002, and I rather hope it won't be another 15 years before I'm back here again. <laughs> now, Women of the Year was founded in 1955, and I'm afraid to say I'm probably one of the few women here who could actually remember that date. I can assure you that in those distant days, it was almost unheard of, of women's, for women's achievements to be recognized, let alone celebrated. But the Marchioness of Lothian was determined to do so by bringing together a cross-section of working women who had distinguished themselves in their careers and their communities. The principle of her Women of the Year lunches was to enable new friendships to be forged to found new networks, and to increase understanding of the countless struggles that women face. Those principles remain just as relevant today as in 1955. In these turbulent times in which we live, I believe it's more important than ever for women of all ages and from all walks of life to unite. As the Victorian writer Matthew Arnold observed, if there ever comes a time when the women of the world come together purely and simply for the benefit of mankind, it will be a force such as the world has never known. <laughs> I think we can see from those of you gathered here today an insight into what could be achieved by women who work together to uphold their communities and their beliefs. You all represent not only yourselves and your own achievement, but also the millions of remarkable women who make a difference every day. I salute you all for your courage, selflessness and dedication. And now, ladies, I understand that Lady Lothian said that two of the criteria for being Woman of the Year were unselfishness and usefulness. So, <laughs> so let me both be unselfish and useful by stopping now so we can all enjoy a very good lunch. Thank you very much. <laughs>